Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. You guys have seen that title, and I'm going to be showing you guys fastest ways to get trophies in this brand new season 7 um, event. And I'm going to be showing you guys basically, basically what it is. Fastest ways. I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into it. So, basically, to get trophies, uh, you have to do races, you have to do multiple of these and also tasks we'll get on to the tasks um, at the end of the video um we'll talk about why these are important um yeah, this, these are really good but our first method that we're going to be doing is the engine race and this is the third best race to grind trophies in you guys want to go ahead and select four laps four laps in the best um method like or i think the more laps you do the more trophies you get so you guys want to make sure in most of these races you guys want to pick the one with the most amount of laps it will take more time but it does give more trophies and also the more amount of players that are in the race the more trophies you will get as well so if you guys are not have a lot make sure you guys join like public servers and not private servers because if you're grinding solo you guys get like very low amount of trophies you, you won't get a good amount if i would highly recommend grinding in public servers even if you guys don't have good vehicles like i'm trying to use vehicles which are kind of average right now i'm using this like dune buggy right over here this thing costs like around 90 thousand um you guys can buy this in the shop this is a great vehicle for this race it's like a, an off-road like doom buggy it's just it's just perfect overall for this race um and i have the off-road tires which is bring around another like 15k so not that expensive at all and a really good uh vehicle for this race but yeah um i'm just gonna cut to when i'm gonna finish this race and there we go, we finished the race in 1 minute and 49.5 uh, seconds, and we got 20 trophies. Now, keep in mind, um, the race, you have to keep in mind the race, it takes 30 seconds to start, and there's like a 6 second transition to start the race, uh, to load, and, um, and on average, I've done math, guys, um, this is the amount you'll get. This is how long it will take you. Average. It will take you about this long. About 11 hours to get 7,000 trophies. This is how many, how long it will take um, if you guys use that Doom Buggy, which is, it may seem seem like a lot, but if, if you guys do the task like every single day, um, you guys will, will like, be able to get the. Uh, or the like all, all this stuff in here like much faster but i'm gonna show you guys second best method and then i'm gonna show you guys at the end the, the main and best method to get trophies so stick around to the video because there's some important stuff i'm gonna tell you guys at the um, very end so you know, just make sure you guys stick around and for this race for the drift race we're gonna use the, this BMW is 144,000. Um, I'm gonna this is gonna quote a race engine. I would recommend getting the race engine. It actually feels a lot smoother with the race um, engine. You guys don't have to get a turbo in it though, but make sure you guys have the spike tires as well. But I'm just gonna keep it um, stock for now. But I would recommend getting the race engine. It just feels a lot smoother with the race engine, but. Yeah, the second best method is a drift race. Um, like I said, the more people that you have in here, the better um, amount of trophies you'll get. So make sure um, you guys do this race for flawed people. But here we go. I had to plug in my PC real quick, so probably not going to get best amount of trophies. But here we are. Um, we're getting in it. Here we go. You see now I have a really good streak going on. Um, doing pretty good. 
I would recommend staying for stay in second gear. If you guys stay in second gear, um, you can really control the vehicle a lot smoother. Third gear is also fine, but if you guys are in first, it will be a lot trickier to get um, points. So I would recommend um, getting getting first gear because it's just a bit more difficult. And this spot right here, this spot is a really good place to to get um, points. This is really I highly recommend just staying here and doing what I'm doing, just doing circles and getting points. You see, I already have a streak going of 10,000 right now. I'm getting a lot of points. I'm probably going to get pretty after a decent score. I want to try and get at least over 20,000 points because I think that's a decent amount to get. Usually you can get around 20 to 30,000 probably on average. So yeah, right now we're definitely going to have over 20,000 which is pretty good. And we might beat this person as well. And let's see. Alright, pretty good. And we already got our first prize. We got our Nissan. The drag Nissan. And you guys can see we got 35 trophies. Which is pretty good. And you got 23,000 points. So the drift rate does give a lot of a lot of trophies. So highly recommend grinding here is a really good spot to get um, trophies and I already have unlocked the first um, car which is just amazing but here's the math that I've done um, here's the drift race and you can see significantly it takes much less compared to the dune race you can see the dune race takes around 11 hours and if you guys grind at the drift race it almost cuts it in half and this has been just solo, like most of these races. Imagine how much shorter you'll be with more people. It's it really depends on how much people you have in a race. So this will probably be much shorter with like a full lobby of people. So drift rate will take around average, maybe around five hours, which is significantly low in my opinion. Like compared to the dune race, this race much faster but now I'm going to show you guys the main method you guys should use to um, go ahead and grind trophies and it is intent at the drag race because this is a drag you can see there's already many people here um there, there is actually a, a lot of people here it kind of is bad because um the more people that are here, the longer it will take to grind. I would actually, if you guys grind this race solo, solo, like let's say you're in a VIP obby or a private server I meant, and you're grinding this solo, I think it'll take around nine hours. So the drift race will be a bit better. But if you guys are grinding this with two people and keep winning, then this will be the best method to use. But, um,. Yeah, you're gonna be here for a while probably. So if if you, if you guys keep running into trouble and keep getting unlucky and keep not getting into the race and keep losing, I would probably recommend grinding the drift race. But um, if you guys have a fast car, like let's say you guys are have a bunch of limiteds and maybe have um like a fast car like this, like this is a really good drag car. Then I would probably recommend grinding this drag race. But well, I'm gonna try to get into this race in a minute. It takes around 10 seconds to start, and then it takes around 6 seconds for transition. And on average, I'm using a car that like is really cheap, so you guys can get the best like depiction. Obviously, I'm gonna lose against this car. But yeah, let's see how fast we can get this in. I think we're gonna get around 12 seconds. Yep, 12.6. When we got six, um, trophies, and the person first got 12. So let's say you you have a really good drag car, and you're in first. Well, here's them you will get at the drag race. You can see drag race with two. This is how much you will get in first place with two people. You'll get, it'll take you four hours 
4.6 hours to get 7,000 trophies. Barely, uh, barely is shorter than a drift race, so I would highly recommend grinding either these two races, the drift race or the drag race. These two are the best methods currently that are working. There is a glitch, the Cadillac, I believe, um, that you could use um, on a drift race, but I believe they patched it. You guys can't use it anymore. It's patched. But um, I think you can use it on the drag race. If you guys have this car, you can probably glitch it and use it on the drag race. But you know, those are pretty much the fastest ways. And uh, yeah, the fastest way is probably drag race. If you have a really good drag car, definitely use drag race. If you guys don't, then I'll say use the drift race and probably just use the, the BMW that I showed you. It's a really good um, car to drift with. So. Yeah, hopefully that helped you guys out. Um, I'm going to show you guys. Also, these tasks, um, I would hide, these are probably, this is probably the, like, the second best method for like the main way to get trophies. These tasks are really, really good and overpowered. Like, um, you guys have plenty of time to do the Season 7. You guys have like a month. So if you guys log in and do these tasks every single day, you guys will will unlock these cars insanely fast, but obviously if you just want to grind, then you can, but these tasks will kind of go to waste, and I don't know, I just think the tasks are just more efficient, in my opinion. So I highly recommend just doing the tasks, like, daily, um, and then from that you can pretty much grind these cars. Because, because, yeah, this, this season will be here for a while, and you guys don't have to grind these cars, like, like, right away, like, you don't have to, but that's pretty much it for this, uh, video of how to get trophies, um, fast, in summary, the best method is the drag race, but you guys have to have two people, and you guys, you, you have to keep winning first. So you pretty much have to have a really good drag car, like the Absolute, I believe the Absolute is, is like the best drag car um, to use that isn't in the season. So yeah, definitely, I would just use this if you have it, you can probably win, win this, but if you guys don't have a drag car, then the, the, the second best place is Drift Race, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, how to get trophies fast. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and turn on notifications so you don't mess out on any new uploads. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video, and good luck grinding. See you guys.